All right, everyone, and welcome back to another video. This time we are talking about Angular and we are talking about the route preloading strategies in Angular. This is something that is really important if you want to optimize your application with lazy route and also if you want to further customize and cherry pick which components or which modules you want to lazy load, which you don't want to lazy load and want to eagerly load. And also by using a really good strategy called the quick link strategy using quick link library, but with a wrapper around Angular. So we are going to use ngx quick link library to show you how you can use this really cool strategy based on the user behavior. And then by the end of this video, you'll know a bunch of strategies that you can use with your angular applications and i hope that you will enjoy it so watch till the end and subscribe if you have not already let's get into it all right so we have a fresh angular application and we are going to see how we can use different preload strategies uh, based on angular's uh, own provided strategies and also using the ngx quick link so first what we are going to do is that we are just going to run this and then we are going to create some modules so let's see how this looks so far so this is how it looks so far out of the box. It's a pretty standard Angular application, that what you get out of the box. So let's create some modules and also we will create some routes as well. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to create a new console window and then I'm going to create a couple of modules. So for instance, I would create ngg module home and then I'm gonna create this with routing. Similarly, I'm going to create a module for let's say about and then i'm also going to create a module for admin so we have a couple of modules right now and now i'm going to create components for all these modules so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just say nggc home and then we have about and then we have admin so what i have done so far is that as you can see we have different components being created and the respective modules being updated as well. For instance, if I go to app, you can see that we have about admin and home now. And inside each of these, we have the home module as well as we have the home component. Similarly, we have the admin module and the admin component and the about module and the about component. Now, what we want is to be able to navigate to these routes. So what I'm going to quickly go through is this dummy code that we have here. Um, and at the very bottom, I'm going to remove all of the additional stuff apart from the header. So let's remove the SVG, the footer. So we have the toolbar here. So anything apart from the toolbar is going to go away for us. So let me quickly remove this. There we go. And in the main, we are going to add this router outlet. So let's add this here. And now let's save this. So this is what we have right now here. We have a welcome message, we have the header, and we also have um, an empty space where we will be showing the routes. Going back to the code, now let's set up those routes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and then I'm going to define my first route. So we have a path set to empty. And then we are gonna say path match as full because we are going to redirect to home by default. So we can redirect to home. Now let's define the route for home as well. And since it's a feature module, we are going to import that via load children. So it is lazily loaded out of the box. So we are going to say path and then we are going to say home. And then here we are going to use load children, which is a function. So we do import and then we provided the path of the home module. So home slash home module. And then we basically get this and then we get the module out of it just like this. And now we have configured it to be uh, working. So if I go back to the browser, you can see that we have the home right here. Uh, so by default, if I try to go to localhost 4200, it redirects me to the home. Now let's see what the home can bring to the table because the home component is not being used anywhere. So I'm going to go to the home routing module and here in the routes I'm going to define the path as empty so when we basically reach the home route then it would basically call this component and we are going to provide the home component here let's save this 
try this out. Now you can see that we have this homeworks out of the box. I'm going to quickly do the same for the admin and the about module and then we can go forward. All right, so now I've configured the routes for all of those. So we have the home, we have the about and we have the admin. So all of these are being lazily loaded right here. And also I've configured the routing for the about component as well as for the admin component. So we can now navigate to all these routes. Let's see that. So I'm here at home. If I go from the top to about, you can see that it says about works. And then if I go to admin, you can see that it says admin works. Now to the main issue that we are talking about here, which is the route preloading strategies. So if I go and inspect this, you will see that in the network, when I go to the home page, you can see that we get a lot of files, but in the JavaScript chunk, we have the main JS and then we have the home home module JS. This is the file which is loaded directly when we open the app at the slash URL or the root URL. And that is because we redirect directly to the home page. So we get this home module also loaded. Notice that if I go to the main JS, I try to find home component. It will not be found because the home components definition is not bundled in the main JS because we are configuring it to be lazily loaded. Therefore, this file basically contains the definition of home component as well as all the relative code for the home component, such as its styles, such as its uh, HTML as well. So everything is defined in this module. Notice what happens if we try to go to about directly. So if I go to about, you will see that we load the main JS, we load the about module, but we don't load the home module at this point. And it won't be loaded until we go to that page. Okay. So similarly, all the definitions of the about component and the about module reside in this particular module. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the links of all these pages right there in the header so we can easily navigate to them. So give me one quick second. All right. So we now have the links as you can see on the page and we have three links here, home, about and admin. I've just added the links here in the HTML and also defined some CSS right there, but we have the links in place. So here, if you can see, we are on the about page. If I click on home, you see that immediately we load the home home module. And of course, if you click on then the admin, you can see that the admin module is loaded. So this is lazy loading in Angular applications out of the box. And every route that we have configured is supposed to be lazily loaded. And that is amazing. Now there could be a case where you would want to try out a different strategy for your Angular application, and you might want to preload all modules. So Angular provides a strategy that we can use out of the box. And to do that, what we need to do is that we need to provide an additional object. And here we provide the preload strategy or the preloading strategy. And here we can say preload all modules. Now, this is something that we import out of the Angular router or at Angular router. And when we do this, what would happen is that every module will be loaded when you go to any of the pages. So let's try that now. So here, if I'm on, let's say the home page, you can see that all of the modules are loaded. We have the home dash home dash module. We have about module. We have admin. It doesn't matter where you land. For instance, if I go to admin and if I try to refresh, you see all the modules are still loaded by default. The module that you're on or the page that you're on will be loaded, of course, but it will immediately load all the other modules. Now, this is a good strategy when this will be a good strategy when you want to make the next transition really smooth. Because if I try to go from the admin page to home now, it is super smooth. Why? Because we don't have to download any other file anymore. We already preloaded all modules. So the next transition to the next page will be super instant. And that is something that you might want to consider for performance. However, there is one issue. And that is that if you have, let's say 25 or 30 different modules, this could become a bottleneck for you and for your application. And that is because the user would be loading all of the modules out of the box for probably no reason. And it might become a jerky experience for your application as well. It might be not smooth because it might cause a lot of delay in fetching some of the files as well. And if a user is on a slow network, then it's worse because the user then would have to download all of the files and the user might not even go to all the pages. So this is kind of useless in some scenarios. 
So we do have something called using a custom preload strategy in which you can define which routes should be preloaded and which should not be preloaded. So we are going to discuss that right now. In order to use a custom preloading strategy, what we need to do is that we need to create a new service that will implement the preloading strategy interface. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say NGG service and I could say core and then I could say custom preloading strategy service. So this is the service that we are going to create. So it is now created inside the core folder and this is the service that we have right now. So this should implement the preloading strategy from the angular router. So this is what we are trying to achieve. Since this implements an interface, therefore we must have some methods or some properties that we want to implement in our class. And the method that we need is what is shown here. So you can see that it says property preload is missing in this type. And that is because we need to implement a method called preload here. Now this preload method that we are going to implement has two things. One is route, which is the route from angular route. And then the second thing is a function. We can name it anything, but I'm going to say load route, which is a function. So this function returns an observable of any. So this is the type of this load route that I've defined here. And this method is supposed to return an observable of any as well. Now that we have this function written here, we need to somehow identify if we should load or preload a route or not. So what we'll do is that for now, we'll just return an off of null. And this off is basically imported from RxJS or we could call it false. So ideally, this should either call this function or not call this function and return anything. Now, we need a way to identify which routes to preload and which to not. And for this exercise, what we'll do is that we'll say, hey, load the home module and the about module out of the box, but don't load the admin module because the user might be used with normal users or admins. So it's not necessary for our example that the user will go to admin after coming from home. So let's try to do that. And for that, what we are going to do is that we are going to go to the routing definitions for each of the load children routes or the routes which have load children. And here we are going to add a new property in the data object. So we have the data object here and we can provide anything here. So we'll create a property which we'll call should preload. And this is going to be a Boolean. It will be either true or false. For the routes that we don't want to preload, we'll not even have this data property at all. So let's just add this for these two routes, which is the about and the home route. And here for the admin, we are not going to add this, which means that the admin module is not going to be preloaded. Now that we have this property here, we are going to go to our custom preloading strategy service. And here we are going to identify if the route has those properties. So I'm going to check if the route has the data property and if the route dot data dot should preload equals true, then we need to return the load route method and this load route basically will return an observable as you can see. So this will return this otherwise we will return this off false. So let's save this now. We have the custom preloading strategy service in place. We do have the routing configuration setup. We just need to tell angular to use our custom strategy now. And to do that, we are going to go down below here and here, Instead of preload all modules, we are going to use the custom preloading strategy service and we can quickly go and import this from the path. So we have core services and here we go. And here we are going to just import this and then paste it here. Now that we have this saved, let's go back to the browser and try this out. So right now we are refreshing and you can see that by default it loaded the home module and the about module right away. And it didn't load the admin module. If I go to about and refresh, you can see that it loaded the about and the home module, but it didn't load the admin module. If I go to admin, 
and refresh, you can see that it loads admin, but it also loads home and about because the home and about are supposed to be preloaded. This admin is not, but since I'm on the admin page, of course, this is being loaded here. So you can see that how we can cherry pick which routes we have to import and which routes we don't have to import at all. So this is a really good strategy for optimizing how the user will go through your application and how we can make our application super performant based on the behavior that we predict the user will have. And finally, let's talk about the NGX quick link strategy. And this is really interesting for me because it does some magic behind the scenes. So NGX quick link strategy is a strategy which looks through your view, which means it sees your page and it kind of detects which links do you have on your page which are visible or which router links you have visible on your page and then as soon as it detects a router link it loads the relevant modules right away and this is super magical so we are going to configure the quick link strategy now but i'm going to do some changes to the application to show you how it would work in an ideal real world application all right, so now I have made some necessary adjustment for this example. And what I have right now is that we have a menu here. So right now we are at the home page. And if I toggle the menu, you can see that we see home and about pages here. And if I go to about, then we have this admin link. So ideally this should load in this different sequence and I'm going to explain as we go forward. But now let's try to include the NGX quick link strategy. And the first step is that we have to install the NGX quick link package. So let's do that. So I'm on my console now and I can simply say npm i ngx quick link dash dash save and this should save the package as a dependency into our project. All right, so now that we have installed the package, the next step is to first go to app module and then you import the quick link module into your imports. That's the first thing. And then you go to app routing module and here you import both the quick link strategy and the quick link module. So I'm going to import this from ngx quick link and then we are going to import quick link module and quick link strategy now we need to import this quick link module here in the imports and then we have to specify the strategy here quick link strategy and now we should hit save now that we have configured this we can go back and try this out so i'm going to run the server first because once you have installed the package you should potentially re-serve your project so every dependency is loaded in a good way. And now that we have everything running, let's go to the browser. And here I'm going to reload. Now you can see that right now we only have the home module loaded. But if I toggle the menu, you can see that as soon as it saw the about link, it automatically loaded the about module. And this is what we meant by the magic that happens behind the scene because it uses an intersection observer to see what links are right there on the view. And if I go to about, the about page already has the router link to admin module. So it should automatically load the admin module when I go there. So as I go here, you can see that now we have the admin module also being loaded just from this router link. And this is amazing. This is what I meant by being interesting as a strategy and if i refresh here you can see that we are on the about module and we also load the admin module but let's go to admin so now i'm on the admin module if i refresh you can see that we only have the admin module and no about or home module is loaded at the moment but as soon as i open the menu you can see that both of the modules get loaded and this is amazing because we can use it in many ways possible and that is pretty much for this video. You now know a lot of custom strategies that you can use with your Angular application so you can decide which preloading strategy works for you. And put in the comments which is the most interesting preload strategy that you thought. Was it the custom preload strategy or the NGX quick link? There is a lot more to preloading strategies, but I believe we are going to cover that in the next videos. And also, if there's something that you want me to do about Angular or about Flutter, let me know in the comments and I'm going to just share my picture somewhat right here. So if you have not subscribed yet, do it and then I'm going to see you in the next video.